Hi guys, it's me, Boog. It's Al. And today we're going to figure out our mouse here. Dave, Woody's Roundup, Woody. Oh, I said I have a plug taken. Yes, so this is uh, brand new for this year, and it's a Disney uh, World or Disney Parks. Um, what's that? Oh yeah, but I did get it to the charge, so yeah. So um, so it's a Disney Parks exclusive, and this is uh, yeah, and it's kind of a series. There's three of them. There's uh, Woody. And there's Daisy and Bullseye. D D Daisy. Um, as you is can see here on the front. Yeah. Who is Daisy? Why does Daisy have anything to do with this? Daisy? Oh, sorry, not Daisy. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse down here. Um, now, you know, this just came out this year in the parks. Where we were at was uh we picked it up at um Downtown Disney, the Disney store there in downtown Disney Orlando. Um, and the only three they had was Woody, Bullseye, and Jesse. But now that I'm looking at this, I see Stinky Pete on the box. So that leads me to believe that they would be making him, or I don't know why he'd be featured on the box. But they didn't have any there. So the three that we got is Woody, like I said, Bullseye, and Jesse. And I, I can't confirm that they're doing Stinky Pete, but, that, but that's really odd that they wouldn't do him, but put him on the box. Either, uh -oh. either they're dead. But the girls in the living. store said that so far, these were the only three they had received. She didn't think they were doing a sticky pee. But again, now that I'm looking at the box, it seems kind of odd to me that they would put him on there without actually producing him. But anyway, what this is, is uh, just like a collector figure. Of course, it's based off the Woody's Roundup show in Toy Story 2, um, if my memory serves me right. So the box is kind of like the old school black and white television sets they used to have probably back in the you know 40s and 50s. Um, on here it says Bud Tone. So I don't know, maybe that was a brand of TV back then. I'm not quite that old, so I'm not sure. Uh, but then you've got the wood panel on the side, the speaker where they put in the back. So just really cool packaging. And then I'm gonna open it up here and kind of show you what this is. I'm sure you're probably wondering, like, what is this weirdness? But what you get. No, is, we're not just reviewing a box. Yeah, a black and white version of the dolls or puppets that they, uh, you know, used in the Woody's Roundup show. Um, and it comes with a stand and, of course, the strings. And it's just a really cool looking uh, display piece for Toy Story fans. Um, it's kind of unusual. That's the kind of stuff I like to look for, the, the odd different stuff. And it definitely checked all those boxes, so I picked them up. Um, there are $50 each, so we got $150 in this set, because like I said, they didn't have Sticky Pete when we were there. And now we're broke, um, so please subscribe. Yes, now we're totally broke, so <laughs> we get subscribers up a little bit. That would be great. <laughs> nah, just kidding. We got a couple bucks left. But yeah, so this Very is... Uh, but they have them out of the box and on display in the store, and they're very really cool, and, and we're going to take it out, kind of put it together and show you uh, exactly what it looks like. And I'll probably will hang on to these boxes just because they're very, very cool. So, um, all right, Boog, did you have your scissors? I think you're going to need some here. So if you can get this open, were you prepared? But first, it is me, a Yeah, I'm going to get the scissors while we get this terrible segment out of the way. What? Where are you going? We always make the best comedy segments on YouTube. Where are you going? <laughs> he really does not like me. I don't know why. It's very weird. He just thinks I'm the worst of the Mario collection. Even though I'm the only one that appears on the channel regularly. Like, come on. Why are uh, you giving me the scissors? Can we uh, just get to the review? You're not going to throw me across the room like you do in every single video? Ah! All right. <laughs> on to the review. <laughs> Enough time with that. <laughs> so, but yeah, like I said, these are these are really, really cool. Um, and I think you guys will understand why once you get them out of the box and, and kind of see exactly what they do. And so you can get to it. It's You were supposed to have taken those back to your room. Yeah, it was. Us. Uh, you were. Oops. <laughs> So, Dad, you get to do, you get to do some puppeteering, I guess. Well, yeah, I can always practice that. I think I might be good at it. I've never actually had like real puppets, but yeah, these come with stands and everything. I think this is part of the stick. Oops, Boog oh, has forgotten to pick up his stuff again. Dad, yeah, stop breaking every only five seconds. And all right, yeah, we have a little bit of instructions here. So it says Woody. 
Um, well, I can't really pronounce this word. Marinette? Marinute? Marinette. Marinette. All right. So I'm going to give it a little break while we get this out of the box and kind of get it assembled. And then we'll get back with the electric stereo exactly what it looks like here. Okay, and we're back, and he's unboxed. Right, he has been unboxed, and this is it. Um, so what you have here for your fifty dollars is a an actual real live living Woody uh, from Woody's Roundup. He, he, he's not living. Well, except for living, <laughs> he's a puppet, and you get this pretty awesome uh, display stand with it, as you can see. Awesome. Right here on this display stand, it says it's got a little sticker that says Woody's Roundup. Um, and yeah, so here he is. So, and he is a real functioning puppet. I'm probably not going to use him. I'm going to use him as a display. But uh, if you know anything about puppeteering, uh, you can definitely make this guy do some stuff. So his mouth moves. Now, you don't get a string for his mouth. So, but you can control his arms kind of like this. I'm not sure how to get him to quit from moving around so much to be able to do it. Pull both of them together like that. And... His legs. That kind of does his back leg. And that one does the other. Or you kind of make him look as flying. Because we could do both. Yeah. <laughs> kind of getting that cool. Little uh, stance. It sounds like the Toy Story. Yeah, like he's falling. So, yeah, this is really cool. And it's all done in kind of a black and white coloring. Uh, just, I guess, to kind of match the show. Because the show would have been in black and white. Um, but, yeah, it's a really, really cool piece. And I want to move him closer just so you can kind of see the dog. And he's not so much different from um, the Woody dolls, I guess you would find. You know, all this is cloth. Uh, the coloring is what's so cool, how they made it look black and white. Plastic head. Hat does not come off. But like I said, his mouth does move. And, of course, he's got his holster with no gun. Boots. And I'm going to get all tangled up here. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, no, I made a tangly mess. Let's get it untangled a bit. But, yeah, yeah there's his boots. Done. I know. What have I done? So, yeah, as you can tell, you have to be a little careful with the strings here. So. Is that right? Or have I? I have definitely tangled. <laughs> Seriously tangled. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Okay, yeah, there we go. That looks right. Not too bad to tangle. And then I'll give you top. That's the kind of the control piece. And it has even got some kind of wood looking features on it, but it is plastic. And lay it down for a minute. And you also get a couple of little stand up props. So here is a turtle. You might remember him from the movie. And I guess maybe he's an otter or a beaver, something like that. So you put that up if you were going to do your own show. And then the stand, it's plastic. Oops. And I guess that comes off. <laughs> yeah, what have you done? There's the top part where you hang him from. And, of course, the plastic pole. And then the base. Base feels pretty heavy. And it's all designed to make like wood. And it's got this little sticker on here that says Woody's Roundup. Uh, the back of it just says Disney Pixar made in China. And that's about it. But, yeah. Like I said, I got these for display pieces because we're huge Toy Story fans. Um, so, yeah, I thought this would be pretty fun somewhere on the shelf in the living room. I'll find a spot for them. But, yeah, and there's three of them. So, like I said, this is the review for Woody. And stay tuned to the channel, and we'll have uh, – there we go. Yeah, it kind of sets into that top piece. And then we'll have the review for – uh, I keep wanting to say Daisy, not Daisy, <laughs> for for um Jesse and uh Bullseye coming up soon. So hope you enjoyed it, everybody, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, guys, in this video, make sure to like and subscribe. There's some more awesome Toy Story fun. Bye. Oh, don't forget, you've got a friend in me. Uh -huh. You've got a friend in me. No matter what, your old pal.